Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Geography Form 2, lesson number 13. The topic it is Internal Land Forming Processes. I'm your tutor, Rosi Mudun. Welcome. We start by looking at the lesson goals. Our lesson goals today, the learner should be able to explain the theories that have put forward to the formation of the Rift Valley. We start by looking at these theories. These theories, we mentioned them in our previous lesson, where we said that there are three theories. We have the tension theory, the compression theory, and the anticrinal aching theory. Let us see them. We start by the formation by tension theory. We have the crustal rock layers are subjected to the tension force. So the crust rocks, the crustal rocks are subjected to the tension force due to the instability within the other crust, as you can be able to see from our diagram that we have there. After that, we have the further tension force. And now the tension force is subjected to these crustal rocks more, or, or once again when it comes, it, the lines of weakness develop. So there is the development of the lines of weakness. And these lines, we refer to them as the fault lines. The ones that you can be able to see, they are now in the crustal rocks. Those are the ones that we refer to them as the fault lines. If I do look at them, this is what we refer to them as the normal fault lines. They are diverging away from one another. That is the reason as to why we refer to it as the tension force. Um, the middle block gradually subsides or sinks. Now, when these blocks, the side blocks are moved away from one another, we have the central block sinking, as you can see from our diagram. Where we have the fault lines, the, there is the remainder break that is in between there. That is the one that sinks, resulting to the fault, to the rift valley. We go to the second theory, that is formation by the compression theory. Now, the crustal rocks here are subjected to the compression force, as you can be able to see from our diagram. We have the compression force that is operating on these crustal rocks. Then, lines of weakness occurs leading to the formation of the adjacent reverse fault. So we have the reverse fault being formed, as you can be able to see from the background. Uh, the outer block of land area thrust above the middle block along their fault plane, as you can be able to see from the deck. So these blocks are brought towards one another, and they come towards the center. Then, through the process of degradation or erosion, you get the protruding parts are removed by erosion or may collapse to form a scapula. Like the way it is. That is the rift valley. Then we have the land theory. That is formation by the anticrinal aching theory. A rift valley also may be formed as a result of up warping. So here it is up warping that takes place. This is caused by pushing sedimentary strata upwards. So the sedimentary strata is pushed upwards, which leads to the bending of rock layers into a big arc. Then a gaping crack develops at the crest of the arc due to the tension at the top forming a valley. So those are the three theories that are put forward to explain 
how Rift Valley is formed. By the anticrinal aching, Rift Valley by the anticrinal aching, you can be able to see the way it looks like. Then, if at all you want to get the features that result from the Rift Valley, the Rift Valley itself it is associated with a number of features. As we were looking at the features that result from the faulting, I mentioned most of them, they come from the Rift Valley. The features are fault blocks. We also have the fault stacks. We also have the fault scabs, the tilt blocks, and the missings. Now, the only feature that I've not talked about, it is the fault steps. The fault steps, it is that feature, that Rift Valley, where we have more than one force being applied. And these forces, they don't have the same magnitude. They have different magnitude, resulting into the staircases. Then we also have the busy. This is that Rift Valley that has been formed. That mid repart can be a place where water can be drained to, resulting to the basin. Then the activity, you are required to explain the formation of Rift Valley according to the tension theory with the aid of diagrams. At number two, you state four features associated with faulting. If I tell you get you want to get the reference, you can refer to KRV 2003, Secondary Geography, Student Book 2, that edition. If I tell you want to get us, you can get us either your SMS to the number, you can also get us from the YouTube, you can also get us from the Facebook, or you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to Edwin TV. Thank you.